What's up everybody, Alex here, and today we've got something special. We've got Iron Marines, the next game from Ironhide Studio, the makers of Kingdom Rush, Kingdom Rush Origins, Kingdom Rush Vengeance, and all the wonderful games you guys have come to love. Um, I'm going to show off a few different things here. This is a great introduction to uh, to this game. This is the Steam edition of the game, so make sure you stick around for the whole video to kind of get an introduction to everything. I'm going to do a uh, quick mission here, and I'll also showcase one of the other missions uh, that I thought was pretty neat as well. For, for this one here, I want to showcase Darwin. Now, this game just came out, so I haven't had the chance to unlock everything. A common question is, does the game come with all the, the characters unlocked? Well, you unlock them through character progression, not character progression, through story progression. Uh, you do not have to buy them. Uh, so they, the in the full price of the Steam edition of this game, you are getting all the characters. I am going to use Darwin here. Uh, basically, Darwin can use a rocket jump that basically damages people underneath him. He can also do a shout that uh, essentially reduces the attack damage of those around him. And finally, he moves with extra speed, which I've unlocked, and he has an improved respawn time. So. I like Darwin. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to this mission here. It's uh, it's kind of in the middle. It's it's you know so there's no kind of story spoilers. Uh, but essentially there's been an attack, uh, and we need to uh, regain control of Settlement Alpha. So let's jump right in. All right. So we're starting here at Settlement Alpha. We have our snipers, and they're gonna make quick work of this guy. No, he gets crushed. All right. So here's Darwin. Give me fuel. Let's see what you can do, Darwin. All right, and our long-range missile guy can already do some damage there. Perfect. All right, we're saving humans. Now, so this is a, an RTS game, but it has a lot of very interesting features. Um, as you will see in the in the next level, I'm going to show you. It definitely does have a lot of the uh, tower defense uh, elements that you've come to love from uh, Ironhide Studios. Uh, so if you're if you're uh, not familiar with Iron Marines and you've played a lot of Kingdom Rush, you're going to find yourself right at home. I've seen uh, I've seen a lot in this of this game so far, and I gotta say it plays absolutely awesome. Uh, you're seeing it right now being recorded in native 4K. Uh, so what I'm trying to explain here is that this is not just a simple mobile port. Uh, Ironhide did an absolutely excellent job of converting all of their assets to uh, PC assets and to make this game the best it can be on Steam. So. This is a great experience. In fact, I would go to suggest that this is the definitive experience of the game. Uh, you're going to have yourself an awesome time playing this game. And if you own it on the mobile platforms, then really, you've got nothing to lose. You're coming in with a, without the learning curve, but this is the way to play the game, that's for sure. So Darwin's going on in. He's doing some damage. He can take quite a bit of damage now. I have it set to, uh, to normal difficulty, so... Um, <laughs> it's it's a challenge. Normal's hard. I might actually not even successfully complete this mission. It's entirely possible. Um, I should have probably put it on casual, because casual in and of itself is a challenge. But for this video, I wanted to see what I could do here. I wanted to see if I could challenge myself a bit. And here I am. So I gotta drop this, my Q. I gotta protect Darwin. All right, so the uh, the drop uh, the drop cannon there it does a ton of damage. Uh, the I could potentially change the snipers into marines. I might do that. You know what? I'm gonna do it. Look at them get naked there. They're putting on their uh, their marine clothes here. And in the upgrades, I've actually upgraded the marines quite a bit. Um, I actually do prefer them. They're actually called rangers. I shouldn't be calling them marines, but uh, I've upgraded the rangers quite a bit. So basically, the way it works in this game is you don't. It's not a base building game in the simple in the tradition of most RTSs. Essentially, what you're going to do is you're going to capture these uh, these resource uh, nodes, and then the, the the camp kind of spawns right away. From there, you're able to build uh, defensive structures and towers. And uh, oh, there's some uh, some resources there to help kind of boost our our start here. So I'm gonna put this guy into a defensive position, and our uh, our Marie, our troopers here are going to go over there. I'm going to put a rocket tower here. It's a long range rocket facility. It's really good at taking anti air uh, kind of enemies out. And over here, I'm gonna put the mini tower. Uh, it's good for like infantry and stuff like that. And at the main uh, settlement, we can actually upgrade the radar station, which kind of gives us uh, an increased. Uh, vantage point of the area around us and the shields which basically uh, you can eventually triple the amount of shields before uh, your buildings start taking damage I want to get these buildings up though uh, defense is a key component of this so here let's let's actually push down here I need that thorium there 
And uh, what we're looking for is actually we're actually looking to see if we can increase our supply count here, because if we're able to do that, we will be able to um, to kind of recruit more Marines. I, I'm uh, I'm definitely a fan of the Ranger. I want to get more Rangers here if I can. Let me see. I might need to upgrade these. I'm going to upgrade the Vision and the Shields. Actually, double upgrade on the Shields. Perfect. And if I hit the space bar, I will kind of uh, select my hero there, which is useful. Okay, so let's let's move up. I might need to bring this guy with me because I needed some firepower. I like I like how uh, he uh, he kind of flies there. All right, so the one thing about the mechs, I'm actually not a huge fan of the mechs. It doesn't really fit my my play style that much, but they are so powerful. Now, one thing I will state as well. Oh, I gotta use my abilities here. Let's drop that there. Oh, I actually... The difficulty of playing on the medium... Sorry, the, the normal difficulties, you actually gotta really put your mind to it because if you don't pay attention, you're going down fast. I think we gotta back out here. Uh-oh. We did some damage, but... I don't think we did enough damage. This game is a challenge, so I'm actually gonna upgrade the rockets there. So that basically what I've done here is I've created uh, basically a stun effect on the rocket bombs. Oh, no! Gotta pull them back. Now, when they're back, they do heal. I gotta drop another uh, drop tower there. So they're gonna they're gonna regain their lost uh, infantry man. There he is. Perfect. Now, one thing I will say as well, um, the controls are fully customizable. What I've actually done is I've kind of made the controls similar to that of um, of a MOBA. Um, a lot of people would would dare to say, okay, well, it's an RTS. It definitely is an RTS, uh, but there's. There's more to it than just being an RTS. The game definitely has um, uh, kind of tower defense-like qualities in the sense that... All right, I gotta drop this there too. Oh, Darwin! He's taking some damage there. Here we go. That's what the skills are for. So what I've done is um, I've actually set it so that um, with W, S, and uh, W, S, A, and D, I'm able to actually move the camera around. And uh, with the Q, I'm able to drop the drop pod, which I felt was uh, one of the most valuable skills you can have. And if you want kind of like a pro tip early, definitely upgrade your abilities with the drop pods. Um, and from there, I have the E and R is for the controls of the, uh, the skills of Darwin and my other heroes, which is very useful. Okay, we're going to do, we're doing a nice push here. Let's get in there. Let's save these guys. They definitely need saving here. And we're going to capture this point. But yeah, the, the controls are fully customizable. Um, I made some modifications here just to make it a little more comfortable for me. One thing I will note is that there's no control groups. A lot of you guys and gals out there that are very accustomed to, uh, to RTS games will be custom to control grouping. So for instance, if I want all my uh, melee characters to be on control group 1 and all my range characters on control group 2 and say uh, siege characters on control group 3, you can't do that in this game. Um, that is one thing perhaps I would I would uh, suggest that Ironhide perhaps look at adding in the future. Oh, what an amateur mistake. I've been capped out on my resources this whole time and I've not been spending them. That's just a waste of resources. Always spend your resources if you can. Because right now, anyways, I have... Um, uh, melee kind of lightsaber dudes here and I have range guys I would ideally want them in different control groups because I feel like they're kind of performing different tasks but uh, you're not able to do that uh, the other thing is they do not attack in movement so they do have to stop moving in order to attack uh, so in some ways if you're if you're uh, if you're used to um, Kingdom Rush, you can almost consider them like mobile towers. You kind of put them in position and then they do their work. Um, so, kind of a nice little transition there. I'm doing a lot better than I expected. Um, I will show you guys later. I'm not even using my uh, my skills properly. And I'm not managing the field as best I could. I think I have full confidence in my tower's ability to hold them off. So, I think I will focus more on my, my enemies at the bottom here. All right, there we go. Reducing their attack power. Let's get these Marines into the action. Darwin's taking a lot of damage, but he's still up. Let's see if I can get the uh, the lightsaber guys. I'm going to call them Jedi from now on, if I can remember. My clever little use of uh, naming there. Oh, we got a little tutorial. Uh, so the game does a really good job of uh, kind of introducing you to all different units and different enemies and stuff like that. So the long range uh, rocket battery does area damage. It's better versus aerial enemies and it has long range. The nice thing about it is it also does attack ground based enemies. So if you're new to the game, you've not played it on Android or iOS or anything like that, 
rest assured, there's a lot of introductory stuff. Um, oh, I can't let that guy die. Don't die, no. Uh, so anyways, um, there's a lot of introductory stuff that will help you uh, kind of uh, get to the bottom of the, the nitty and gritty of the game. So I did lose Darwin here. And I'm... Oh, come on. Don't lose that guy there. Let's bring Darwin back. There he is. Oh, and there's a recruitment beacon. So you're going to see that I'm going to go to four, four supply. Oh, jeez. And this is where control groups would have been a little valuable. But then again, I'm also, as you're used to for anybody that's been watching this channel, perhaps not the most talented of gamers out there. So anyways, we have four supply. Uh, what would we like to build here? Are we going to build another... Okay, we can do a flame walker. I would generally like to go with my ranger. Add some more rangers here. You know what? I'm going to add, just so you guys can see kind of the difference here, I'm going to go with a flame walker. I don't actually have have them upgraded particularly well, but they're neat. So I'll check, we'll check them out. So here we're going to push up a bit. Oh, no, we're going to push that way. My apologies. Got the arrow pointing to tell me where to go and I'm not listening. Not paying attention. Come on, Alex, pay attention. So, here we go. More enemies up here. So we got to secure that area. Oh, they're in trouble. Let's go help them. Got a little spawn point there. Perfect drop pod placement there. Let's save the people. Excellent. Okay, let's get in position here to help defend. So we got to hold this spot here. Let's put Darwin in the front. Let's put the... You know what? Here's a great idea. We got these Marines here. Uh, the Rangers. We're going to actually convert the Rangers back into snipers. We're going to put the flamethrower up here. We're going to put the uh, the rocket launcher mech back here. And we're going to put the uh, the lightsaber guys up here. All right, there. Now we're in good position. We got our we got our snipers doing work, so they're hitting, doing some damage there. We have Darwin doing some work. We have our, we have our uh, kind of guys position there. So again, this is where you get... Oh, no! Okay, Darwin, you got to go down there. You got to go down there. There's a lot more going on there than I expected. Okay, we'll drop the uh, the cannon there. Darwin's moving nice and fast. I also have some of my paid abilities there that I can unlock with in-game currency. And again, that's currency that you earn uh, while playing, so don't worry, guys. Uh, Ironhide did a great job of actually giving you the opportunity to earn everything you need in-game. All right, so I'm going to reduce their attack power. Up here, things are going pretty good. My flame walker's not doing much. I'm going to move them back. Snipers are doing work. We're still kind of defending that point. Darwin's getting a bit of a beating. I might have to pull him back. I'm going to pull him back a little bit. Let the towers take some of the damage. There we go. All right, I'm going to keep Darwin here. Oh, we got to move them back. Move them back. Okay, as long as I protect this one guy. Oh, never mind. We did it. I was nervous there for a sec, but it looks like we are successful. I got myself an achievement. I'm not sure if you see it, but resistance is not futile. And there's a the victory. Darwin leveled up to level four. We got ourselves some currency. I'll explain what those currencies do right now. So during this loading screen, oh, and by the way, I gotta say, look at the art. How awesome is the art in this game? It is absolutely phenomenal. Ironhide has some of the absolute best artists uh, in the indie scene right now. So let me just give you a kind of a quick primer on what all these different currencies do. Then I'm going to show you one more special ops level. It's kind of a bit of a challenge. So let's just take a look here. So we have Darwin here. So we unlocked a few points, four skill points in fact. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unlock, what should I unlock here? I can put it into anything, but as you get to these special points, you kind of get bonuses. So I'm going to go after the bonus here. I want the improved respawn time because as you can see, I don't pay attention very well and I think Darwin took a bit of a beating, so let's put him there. Um, with the currencies, if I go here, I'm able to actually purchase um, items that can help me during the game. So uh, I'm actually going to change a few things. So I'm going to move this. This is actually a defensive tower. Pretty awesome, but I like this. This kind of gives me a, a kind of a boost in the capacity of... Oops. It gives me a boost in the capacity of... Um, uh, thorium that I can hold, or sorry, the uh, ether watts. Uh, so this here, these are mines. So what I'm going to do, I like the mines, and they're going to be super useful in this next game, uh, next match we're going to play. So I'm actually going to get four of them. And you know what? I'm actually going to take these bombs out, and I'm going to get the tower. The tower is super useful as well. So as you can see, I'm using the in-game currency that I've earned. Um, this just helps in some of the more difficult levels. Here, 
whenever you unlock an achievement, you actually get a currency reward as well. So it kind of helps you to accelerate the uh, the rate at which you you unlock things. Finally, and this is one of my absolute favorite things. They did this with uh, with with Kingdom Rush as well. The kind of the, the the talent tree that you could kind of customize your tower's abilities and focus. That's the same thing here. You have a huge range of different abilities for every single tower item, for every single uh, you know. Uh, you know, controllable uh, character and this and that. So basically, I put a few things into kind of supporting my economy early. However, one thing I will say is I love the uh, the, the trooper squadron there, the rangers. So I did a lot to upgrade the rangers. That's why in the last game I said I was a little hesitant to take on too many of the mechs because a lot of the of what I've unlocked is uh, kind of beefing up the rangers. Now in the next game we're gonna need snipers to be very very uh, effective, but I've already upgraded them a lot. So what should I put some points into? I got 320 points. I could just save them, or I could double the impact damage of the drop gun landing. That is valuable. I will buy it. So now my drop gun's going to do a lot more damage. I'm going to change my hero. I'm going to go with Taggins. He's been uh, a guy that I've been using uh, for a lot of this game. And uh, he has a personal shield, so it basically protects him and heals him. This is going to do tons of DPS when I put it off. And here we have a chance to ignore armor all the way to the top, which is like evasion. So awesome. Move out, Marines. All right. Let's see what you can do. And I will add... There are three, all three uh, of the planets are included in uh, in Iron Marines, the Steam Edition. Uh, I've not unlocked this one yet, and I actually just unlocked this one here. I haven't had a chance to actually play it. Don't worry, guys. I'll be doing more videos on this game, so you'll get a chance to see that as well. So let's go here for a second, and we're going to go to this Spec Ops here. This one here, basically, we have to protect a transmission tower. This is a challenging mission. Um, should I try it on hard? There's a chance that I will fail. Am I a veteran? The true expert of strategy games? Alright, I'm gonna try it. If I if I lose, I'm sorry. But I'm gonna give it a shot. Here we go. Let's see what we can do. So I thought this uh, that this map was pretty neat because it kind of shows their pedigree uh, from from Kingdom Rush. The idea that you can kind of uh, do a uh, tower defense style game. Now, obviously, this is an RTS, but this this mode here in particular had a few elements of the of the classic uh, Kingdom Rush that I just really want to highlight. First thing, let's move these guys. We're hoping not to get to that third spot there. So let's let's kind of put him in the center there. I should say. So let's go here. Let's actually change them as well. We're gonna shift them off to the long range aerial launcher. Let's bring our hero up here to give them some help. They're taking damage. I believe the towers are already upgraded. They are. We're gonna shift them into snipers. All right. Let's drop that there. Okay, we gotta convert all these guys to snipers, I think. That's my plan anyway. Snipers, snipers, snipers. We want snipers. Okay, let's get them into position. Okay, I think we need them here. No! Wasn't paying attention, you see what I mean? I just don't pay attention. This, this, okay, this, this battle started fast. I, I kind of regret going to hard. I regret going to hard. But it's okay, it's okay. We still got this, we still got this. Okay, come on, come on, Taggins, get back here. Okay, I'm gonna drop these, take these guys down here. All right, come on, do the damage. Come on, keep going, keep going. Heal up, heal up. Let's move them back. There we go. We got that that stun there. Uh, where is my hero? Oh, he's gotta get dropped. Let's drop him in there. This is gonna be hard. I'm actually nervous. We have no guys down there. What am I doing? Oh no. All right. Snipers in position. Okay, I'm gonna put them over here. Will they have the range to attack? Okay, I gotta put them up here. Let's get the hero down here. This is getting hard. I'm actually nervous. I, I've never tried anything on hard yet, so... This is uncharted territory, so I'm gonna bring them up here. Alright. Come on, snipers. Do damage. Do more damage. I hadn't had the chance to unlock the sniper's ability to, um... To do increased damage to uh, to heavy artillery or heavy armored units, so I'm gonna put uh, some mines here. What the mines do is they're gonna replicate over time as long as there's no enemy. Where's my hero? Here he is. Come on, do some work, Mr. Hero. We need you. All right. So see, they're replicating. Perfect. Perfect. Replicating there too. Let's throw some here. Is this according to plan? All right. We we survived that initial rush. Let's get these, uh, these... Okay, whoa! 
they were spread out very strange. Okay, let's get our units back into position here. So we have them there. We'll keep the mech a little closer. Because they're a little uh, a little stronger. Okay, let's get that shield going. Let's move our mech up. What's their attack range? We gotta move them up. Okay, we gotta move him back. That's basically what we gotta do here. Alright, let's drop them on top. Double damage there on the drop. It's getting hectic. Let's get these uh, snipers doing some work here. Right away. Again, if you notice, there's the there's the kind of the range of their weapons. So I'm not moving everyone like constantly. You kind of get them in position. So again, this is this is almost like a tower defense map. I'm getting a little nervous though. We got some explosions there. Good, good. I actually don't even need this one here. So if I was a good player, I would have removed this uh, usable ability and gotten something a little more valuable in this particular position because we're not in this particular map sorry because we're not building any new um, any new structures this is about purely survival come on snipers keep it up keep it up keep doing the damage the mech's doing work too on the move all right we're gonna have to go down here happening again I dare you I double dare you the music's so intense as well let's get in there I'm gonna take this guy out here Lots. Oh, those aliens are getting behind the lines here. I think I gotta drop mines over there, but first... Okay, hold on. I think I gotta drop this here. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put a tower there. And I'm gonna put mines there. So I'm investing in this game here. I wanna win for you guys. I really do. Alright, so everyone's in position. Those are the snipers picking up their shots. Now, the, the, the kind of swarming enemies are obviously not particularly good for snipers. Because snipers aren't able to hit those swarming enemies as effectively. Um, there's a hero. Oh, no, I can't remember their name. They kind of, they're like a, a mech helicopter thing. And one of their skills is to kind of do a whirlwind. They would have been particularly good at this map, I think. Okay, let's drop that right there. Let's see if we can do some damage. I'm going to keep our hero there. So far, so good. Now, these are a lot of heavy armored uh, units, but I think our snipers are doing a, a doozy. They're doing a number on this guy, so we might be okay. Okay, there we go, Mr. Hero. Come on, do your damage. We don't need to pop his armor yet. Let's bring him up here. Keep him moving, keep him moving. So far, so good. Considering that this is on hard difficulty, we're doing good. And again, this is the uh, the special ops missions. These are like special missions for people looking for a, a unique challenge. And as I said, I'm going to be uh, spending some more time playing this game, so you'll get a chance to see some of the other things as well. I'd like to do a, at least one video focusing on each of the planets. I don't want to spoil all the surprises, you know. On the move. All right, there's a lot coming down on the bottom there. I'm going to do a drop. You know what? I'm going to do a defensive drop here. Let them kind of come in a bit and put them right there. Good. But, uh, I'll put our, our cap. Whoa! That was a misclick. There we go. Let's, let's amplify his damage. You know what? We're going to give him a shield as well. Do we have anyone else here? We got some coming there. I think that, that little, this little tower here in these mines, that should kind of prevent some movement in that area there. In the harder difficulties, I could see intentionally moving back to this area, so you only have to defend two ramps. Because right now, we're kind of defending multiple areas, which makes it a little more challenging. Fighting battles on multiple fronts, war and history would show you that that is never a successful endeavor. We're doing good, though. I'm actually doing a lot better than I expected. I had this initial regret of picking the hard, uh, the hard difficulty, because I figured to myself, hey, you know what? You guys watch me play, you know, games like Enter the Gungeon. I just get murked almost immediately. In Rogue Running, I, I fare, I tend to not fare so well sometimes. And in this game, I mean, I, I know Ironhide's games. I have spent countless hours playing Ironhide games. So I let, I let my confidence get the better of me. And I'm happy to see that so far that confidence was warranted because we're doing pretty good right now. I think changing the the rangers to the snipers was the choice. Leaving them as the uh, the rangers, sorry, as the rangers would have been uh, a bad choice. Got it. Because look at the work the snipers are doing. The mines are keeping them at bay, and I and the uh, the snipers are just doing work. Excellent. And these rocket towers, the range of the rocket towers and the snipers are, are almost identical. So that gives, that kind of gives an overlap of the uh, of the, the damage dealing properties of those two uh, those two units. 
And obviously we had the flamethrower, but we converted it to the uh, anti-air rocket rocket person, which is great because they're doing a lot of damage. Whoa, commander taking damage. They're doing lots of damage to these aerial units as well, so. It's hard to say. I'm not entirely sure how much longer we have to survive. It's not really giving us much of an indication of what wave we're on. But they're coming at us in a fury, uh, in a flurry here. Oh, this this must be this must be the finale here. Heal up, Captain. Heal up. We got a lot of guys coming at us. All right, I need I need a drop. I need a drop right here. Come on, I need a drop. Okay, move back, move back. Here's the drop. Perfect. All right, we got to heal up. Get in there. This is where this is where the rush was right here. I think that that uh, that drop gun dropped did a lot of work there. Is that the finale? It was! Victory! Wonderful! I love that! So, we just gained some rank there, some more items, some more uh, some more upgrade points. Anyways guys, this is Iron Marines the Steam Edition. This is a fantastic game. As I said before, I will be playing a lot of this game, so please subscribe if you've not already to see more videos on Iron Marines. Thank you so much for watching, take care, and have a great day.